Bruno met online on uh, midgetlovin.com and we like to uh, role play in the bedroom and I have this Dorothy Gale outfit that I wear and he dresses up like uh, one of the lollipop guild guys from the munchkins, you know, and he hands me this big old lollipop. My husband Bruno, let's just say he has a very dangerous profession. I think it's very sexy. Well, uh, I met my husband in Connecticut in college, and I mean, I was pretty young, so I thought that, you know, everybody's supposed to get married, right? You go to school, you meet your husband, you live happily ever after, and, but I guess that's not really how it worked out. Grabbing a drink before I pick my son up from a school dance. Oh, you have a son. Um, I have twin girls and a boy. They can be kind of a handful. <laughs> I, can, I can imagine. I just have the one, and he keeps hopping all over the place. So are you and your wife going to pick up your son together? Oh, no, no, no. I've been divorced for a few years now. Uh, Robert? Is it really you? It is. Margaret, you just as beautiful as I remember. <laughs> you too. I was afraid you wouldn't come. Are you kidding? I got here early. But I didn't see you. I was sitting right there. Oh. Say something. Like what? I don't know. Make something up. Hello. Thank you for having me. I am the High Priestess, and I will now share with you a new ritual which I have just learned. Put your left hand in. Put your left hand out. Put your right hand in and shake it all about. Do I intend to have children in my life? That's a very good question. It's a question I get asked all the time when you're married and you don't have kids and all your friends have kids and they're always asking you, when are you going to have kids? Why don't you have kids? Don't you like kids, Carla? And so I think it's a very rude question. You know what? It's none of your fucking business.